drenching ourselves within the endlessness of the universe, we humans have continually scrutinized the threat of whether or not we, without a doubt, are the number one species to have a planet. Looking on the stars, mulling over far-off worlds, and investigating the capacity for life beyond our little blue planet, that capability has at long last emerged. NASA's chief has sincerely stated that the James Webb Space Telescope has captured something brilliant at the brink of our large neighborhood. The James Webb Telescope has no gouge on Proxima b, the nearest, most likely habitable exoplanet to Earth. We reviewed that a potential metropolis made by means of astute lifeforms was recognized, which, so far, we do not have the foggiest idea about. The new James Webb discovery suggests how the splendor of the fake lighting of the town of Proxima b has improved in enlargement. The synthetic synthesis of the environment of this exoplanet has been determined. So join us on this high-quality excursion to Proxima b to find the subtleties of this disclosure. As indicated by NASA's chief, the James Webb telescope may have utilized this innovation and has discovered fantastic life on Proxima b an exoplanet located just 4.24 light-years from our solar system. Proxima b has become a subject of interest due to its capability to be livable. This exoplanet orbits its parent star, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf that is much more modest and cooler than our sun. Located in 2016, Proxima b lies within the star's habitable zone, otherwise known as the Goldilocks zone, which is the region around the star where conditions could permit the presence of liquid water a crucial element for life as far as we are concerned. Proxima b's proximity to Earth and its location in the habitable zone have generated significant interest and speculation about its potential to support life. However, it is important to understand that the livability of an exoplanet is a complex puzzle involving numerous factors. Proxima b is characterized as an exoplanet with a mass around 1.3 times that of Earth and has an orbital period of approximately 11.2 Earth days meaning that it completes one orbit around Proxima Centauri in that time. However, things aren't as straightforward as we might naturally assume. The fact that the planet is Earth-like in size and orbits a red star does not guarantee that it is a perfect imitation of our planet and that we can all move there. The livability of Proxima b is determined by various factors, one of them being the planet's atmosphere, which acts as a protective shield and plays a crucial role in regulating temperature and supporting life. Additionally. The exact composition of Proxima b's atmosphere is still uncertain, making it difficult to determine its potential habitability. Researchers are working on methods to study the atmosphere of Proxima b, and a crucial tool in this effort is the James Webb Space Telescope. This telescope will allow researchers to analyze the light that passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere during transit, providing them with information about spectral features and helping them search for potential biomarker molecules that could indicate the presence of life. Another significant factor influencing habitability is the presence of water. Despite Proxima b being in the habitable zone, it is essential to determine if it has an adequate degree of water to be considered suitable for life. Water is a fundamental piece of the puzzle, and researchers are looking for signs of liquid water on the planet's surface, whether in seas, lakes, or streams. These pieces of information are critical to evaluating the likelihood of habitability on Proxima b. The presence of water in various states, like ice or vapor, is also considered, as water availability is essential to support biological processes and is considered a vital marker of habitability. The environment of Proxima b brings up concerns about its conditions. Researchers must also explore factors such as temperature, pressure, and geological activity on Proxima b to assess whether the planet is within a suitable range for life to flourish. Extreme conditions, such as scorching heat or extreme cold, can make survival challenging. Stability is also important. Volcanic eruptions or seismic activity can disrupt habitability. However, stability is uncertain as Proxima b is expected to be in a tidally locked state, meaning that one side of the planet remains perpetually in darkness while the other side is always illuminated by the star. The extreme temperature variations between the illuminated and dark sides may affect the planet's habitability. These are just a few considerations that researchers are examining in the search for habitable planets. Researchers are analyzing the chemical composition of Proxima b to check for the presence of organic compounds, such as amino acids and other molecules essential for life. They will also study whether the planet receives enough energy from the star or other sources 
to fuel biological processes and allow life forms to thrive. Despite all these studies, the question remains whether Proxima b indeed has all the necessary components to be considered a habitable planet. Is there significant evidence for this? The discovery of Proxima b in 2016 was a remarkable achievement. Astronomers used a high-precision instrument called the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, or HARPS, to identify the subtle gravitational tug of an exoplanet around Proxima Centauri, our closest neighboring star. This high-precision spectrograph is designed explicitly to detect exoplanets and operates at the La Silla Observatory in Chile. It has been crucial in the discovery of numerous exoplanets, including Proxima b. The HARPS instrument works using the radial velocity method, also known as the Doppler spectroscopy method. Its function is to detect exoplanets by measuring the subtle changes in the host star spectrum caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These movements, called radial velocity or Doppler effect, occur due to the slight wobble of the star as it's tugged by the gravitational interaction with its companion planet. HARPS has an optical fiber that collects light from the target star and guides it to the internal spectrograph. In the spectrograph, the light is dispersed into its various frequencies, allowing astronomers to analyze the star's spectrum in detail. This enables researchers to determine the star's radial velocity with exceptional precision. To achieve the high level of accuracy needed for exoplanet detection, HARPS employs advanced technologies and methods that include a temperature-controlled environment to stabilize the instrument and measures to limit the effects of other variables that could hinder precise measurements. What do you think about Proxima b? Do you believe it is habitable and that, in the future, we could potentially move to this remarkable exoplanet? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. NASA's Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable data back to Earth again. In the vast universe, we have no idea what it is, but we can measure it. Voyager 1, the iconic space probe launched by NASA over four and a half decades ago, has just sent back a signal that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. After traveling nearly 14 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1 has made a discovery so profound that it has altered the course of its mission, turning back toward our planet. But what exactly could this discovery be? Could it be evidence of extraterrestrial life, a cosmic anomaly, or something even more unimaginable? In this gripping exploration, we unveil these stunning revelations as Voyager 1 just made a terrifying discovery that made it suddenly turn back toward Earth. History tells us that the Voyager twin probes, if certain celestial events hadn't coincided, two of the most notable spacecraft ever launched might never have left Earth. In this scenario, the aligning stars were the four largest planets in our solar system. About 60 years ago, these planets were slowly aligning in a way that had last occurred during Thomas Jefferson's presidency in the early 19th century. This rare planetary alignment went largely unnoticed at first. The first person to recognize its importance was Gary Flandreau, a doctoral student in aeronautics at the California Institute of Technology. Back in 1965, when space exploration was just beginning, working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, Flandreau was tasked with figuring out the most efficient way to send a space probe to Jupiter and even farther out to Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. Using a simple pencil, he meticulously plotted the orbital paths of these giant planets and made a fascinating discovery. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four planets would align in a way that they could be visited in a single mission. This alignment meant that a spacecraft could use the gravitational pull of each planet to slingshot itself to the next, significantly reducing travel time. Flandreau calculated that this alignment would reduce the flight time from Earth to Neptune from 30 years to just 12 years. But there was a catch. This planetary alignment only occurred once every 176 years. To take advantage of this rare opportunity, a spacecraft would need to be launched by the mid-1970s. NASA seized this once-in-a-lifetime chance and built two spacecraft to make the journey, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. They were sent on an extraordinary mission to explore the outer planets of our solar system. Thanks to the alignment of the planets and the visionary calculations of Gary Flandreau, the launch of the Voyager twin probes on September 5, 1977, marked something truly remarkable. At a place called Cape Canaveral in Florida, Voyager 1 embarked on its epic journey into space, 
lifted off by a powerful rocket known as Titan 3E or Centaur. Just 15 days after Voyager 2 was launched on August 20, 1977, Voyager 1 joined the cosmic adventure, beginning its voyage into the vast universe by following a shorter trajectory. Their primary mission was to explore the massive gas giants in our solar system, including Jupiter and Saturn, along with their numerous moons. But these intrepid space travelers surpassed all expectations. They ventured far beyond, pushing the boundaries of exploration, traveling farther and longer than any other spacecraft in history. They broke numerous records on their awe-inspiring odyssey. They have journeyed beyond anything created by humans before, even venturing into a region known as interstellar space, an uncharted territory within our galaxy. These trailblazing spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are now more than 12 billion miles away from us. Despite their vast distance, they continue to astonish scientists with the remarkable discoveries they make out there. Most recently, they have made a discovery so unexpected that it has taken everyone by surprise. The Voyager twin probes have accomplished some truly exceptional feats. Over 40 years ago, they scrutinized the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, astounding scientists who initially believed these moons to be dull and pockmarked like our moon. These moons turned out to be colorful worlds. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979, just 546 days after its launch. Voyager 2, following a slightly different route, arrived in July of the same year. Both spacecraft were equipped with Viticon cameras that used filters to capture full-color images. Interestingly, they were designed to be very stable, spinning through space at a rate more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This ensured that the images they captured were clear and sharp. During their mission, the Voyagers took more than 33,000 photos of Jupiter and its moons, each revealing new and captivating details. For example, Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, was found to have a cracked icy crust estimated to be more than 60 meters thick. As the spacecraft departed from the Jupiter system, they received a farewell boost in speed of 35,700 miles per hour from a gravitational slingshot, a crucial maneuver that helped propel them toward interstellar space. At Saturn, the Voyagers went their separate ways. Voyager 1 passed through Saturn's majestic rings, enduring thousands of impacts from tiny dust particles before flying past Titan, a moon enveloped in an orange haze and heading northward out of the plane of planets. Voyager 2 continued its solitary journey, reaching Uranus and Neptune in 1986. During its visit to Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons and added the planet to the list of worlds in our solar system with rings. However, Voyager 2's achievements were overshadowed by tragedy when just four days after its closest approach to Uranus, the Space Shuttle Challenger tragically exploded shortly after liftoff, claiming the lives of all seven crew members, including Krista McAuliffe, a high school teacher from New Hampshire who was set to become the first civilian to travel into space. Three years later, as Voyager 2 flew about 2,800 miles above Neptune's stunning azure methane sky, it encountered the fastest winds recorded on any planet in our solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, turned out to be a bizarre world with geysers spewing nitrogen into space. Voyager 2 captured the astonishing scene in a series of close-up images. Following its visit to Neptune, Voyager 2 joined its sister probe, Voyager 1, on an epic journey into interstellar space. As they ventured deeper into the unknown, the Voyagers encountered a mysterious boundary known as the Heliopause, where the influence of the sun gives way to the vast expanse of interstellar space. Voyager 1 crossed this boundary on August 25, 2012, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 followed in its footsteps, crossing the heliopause on November 5, 2018. As they continue their journey into the unknown, the Voyager spacecraft carry with them a golden record containing sounds and images that depict the diversity of life and culture on our planet. This cosmic time capsule, created by a team led by astronomer Carl Sagan, is intended to serve as a message to any extraterrestrial beings who might one day encounter the spacecraft. This golden record, a testament to humanity's quest for knowledge and connection with the cosmos, contains a diverse array of Earth's natural sounds, greetings in 55 different languages, 
a selection of music from various cultures and eras, and 115 images depicting life on Earth. The hope is that, even after billions of years, some intelligent civilization might stumble upon these records and gain insight into the existence and culture of humans. As Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continue their unprecedented journey, they send back data that continually enriches our understanding of the universe. One of the most significant and recent discoveries made by Voyager 1 was the detection of a persistent hum of interstellar gas, a faint plasma wave emission in the interstellar medium, which provides valuable insights into the density of space between stars. This discovery is crucial for understanding the environment beyond our solar system, offering clues about the nature and distribution of matter in the galaxy. Additionally, both spacecraft have provided invaluable information about cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and the heliosphere, the vast bubble of space dominated by the solar wind emitted by the sun. By crossing the heliopause, the voyagers have given scientists a unique opportunity to study the interaction between our solar wind and the interstellar medium, helping to improve our understanding of space weather and its potential impact on Earth. In their extended mission, the Voyagers have faced and overcome numerous technical challenges. They are powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert the heat released by the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. As the plutonium-238 decays, the power output of the RTGs diminishes over time. Despite this gradual decline, the spacecraft are expected to continue operating and sending back data until around 2025 when their power levels will drop too low to support any scientific instruments. In their twilight years, the Voyagers have become elder statesmen of space exploration, inspiring new generations of scientists and engineers. They symbolize the spirit of discovery and the human drive to explore the unknown. Their journey, which began over four decades ago, continues to captivate the imagination of people around the world reminding us of the boundless possibilities that lie beyond our home planet. The stunning revelation of artificial light detected on Proxima b, coupled with the possibility of an atmosphere capable of supporting life, has reignited interest in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. This discovery, facilitated by the James Webb Space Telescope, opens new avenues for exploring the universe and seeking answers to the age-old question. Are we alone in the cosmos? Proxima b, with its potential for habitability, serves as a beacon of hope and curiosity. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of this distant exoplanet, we are reminded of the importance of continued investment in space exploration and technology. The advancements made by the James Webb Space Telescope and the groundbreaking work of the Voyager probes underscore the transformative power of scientific inquiry and the quest for knowledge. In conclusion, the discoveries made by Voyager 1, Voyager 2, and the James Webb Space Telescope represent monumental achievements in human history. They illustrate our capacity for innovation and our unyielding desire to explore the unknown. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, we look forward to the day when we might finally answer the profound question of whether life exists beyond Earth. Until then, the Voyagers and the James Webb Space Telescope will remain our eyes and ears in the vast expanse of the cosmos guiding us toward new horizons and deeper understanding.